Hey, what's up? Steve from Flight Brothers here, and today I'm going to show you my Fresnel lens mod for both the Quantum V2 and the V1 goggles. It works for either one, and the first thing I'm going to do is pop both of these open to show you what it looks like inside. Now here we have the inside view of both pairs of goggles. On the left side the V2s, on the right side the V1s. From the factory they both only come with a single Fresnel lens to offer some magnification to the screen. But with just the single Fresnel lens, the picture seems far away and not as immersive as I liked. So I decided to add a second Fresnel lens up towards the front of the goggles so that it would double the magnification and give me a much more immersive view. In both goggles, the Fresnel lens is set about three quarters of an inch back from the screen and it's sitting in a groove so that it can't flex, bend, or get out of alignment with the screen. To show you how I accomplished this, I'm going to go through the process on the V2 goggles for you. The process is exactly the same on the V1 goggles, so depending on what pair you have, you can just change the dimensions slightly for the goggles that you have and follow the same directions. The first thing you need to do is measure the inside dimensions of your goggles where you're going to install the lens. I preferred to install it right along the front edge of where the original frame slides back and forth. Those dimensions on the V2 goggles are 5 inches wide by 3 inches tall. The dimensions on the V1s are about 4 and 3 eighths inches by 2 and 3 quarters inches. Then you want to add about an eighth of an inch to those dimensions for the final product so that the Fresnel lens can sit in a groove that you carve out of the foam. The next thing you're going to need to do is cut your Fresnel lens to size. For the V2s, I'm going to cut a piece of Fresnel lens that's five inches plus an eighth by three inches plus an eighth so that it's just slightly bigger than the inside dimensions of the goggles. When you're done, it should look like this. Now one thing that's important about cutting your lens is to make sure that the center, where the circles are, stays in the center of the piece you cut. So when you cut out of the full-size Fresnel lens, make sure you measure from the center out to get your dimensions. The next thing we're going to do is carve the groove out of our goggles. Now you can see the groove that I carved here along that leading edge all the way along the lawn side and that leading edge and the same thing on the other half of the goggles as well. To do this I took my straight edge, put it up against the leading edge of where the original frame slides and take my knife and go up along that straight edge there. Repeat that process for the other side. And then after I did that, I took my lens, slid it carefully into those two grooves, and was able to use the lens itself to draw a line across the foam here. And after I drew that line, then I took my knife and cut the groove carefully along that line in the foam. Now you're only trying to cut a groove about a sixteenth of an inch deep, so you don't need to go too crazy with it. If you want to help widen the groove, take a push pin or a bamboo skewer and you can kind of dig through that groove to widen it up to make it accept the Fresnel lens when you're done. Here again is both sides of the goggles complete. I'm going to start with the bottom half and begin installing to put them together. First I'll put my screen in. I'm going to take my freshly cut Fresno lens 
and I'm going to put the smooth side facing where my eyes will go and slide it into the grooves that I just cut for the lens. By making those grooves and installing it into the grooves, it can't slide around or become unaligned from the screen. It'll always stay nice and straight where it is. Now I'm going to take the lens that came with it and set that into place. Next thing I will do is carefully put the other half on top, making sure that the new lens slides into the grooves that I've already carved out here. That's a little tricky, but I'm sure you can make it happen. There. Now, you might glue the two halves together, but I prefer not to glue the two halves together in case I ever need to take it apart for any sort of maintenance or anything like that. I don't want to go cutting. So I'm going to take these Velcro straps. They're really handy. I use them for a lot of things on all my builds. They come in a roll like this. You can get them at Lowe's, Home Depot. I'm sure you can get them online. And it actually turns out, normally I would keep the stiff side of the Velcro out. I'm going to keep the soft side of the Velcro out because the V2s have to slide into the sleeve and the, uh, the, the uh, stiff end will actually catch on the sleeve as you're sliding it in. So I'm actually going to just use this Velcro strap that I put together to hold my goggles together instead of gluing it. And that way I can always take them back apart to reaccess the lenses if I ever need to make an adjustment. Once I've done that, my goggles are pretty much ready to go in the sleeve and I'm going to have a much more immersive picture once they are. To give you an idea of what the difference is, here is the view through the goggles without the added lens. And here's the view with the Fresnel lens, obviously quite a bit more magnified. And that is it for that modification. I hope you uh, give it a shot. And if you like it, let me know. And please like and subscribe to this video. Share it with anyone who might find it useful. And we'd appreciate it. Thank you so much. And we'll catch you next time on Flight Brothers.